Hi, I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. Hey, good to have you here. Um, what we're doing today is replacing doors that we put in a while back and they were put in wrong evidently or they became out of square. You can see where they took a chisel and chiseled out and sanded. But you see this gap over here where it's not, it's wider than down there. Tilted over so they still, this needed to go a little lower so you keep that gap all the way across instead it was rubbing over and uh, they, they had to chisel that out to get it to close but now it's been leaking so long they rotted out the <clears throat> one by four trim that they had in the bottom of the door and so we're going to replace this door going to take this wide trim on the outside which is called brick mold which by the way you can get this stuff in plastic and it won't ever rot at least not that I've seen in 30 years um, I think it will discolor before it rots yeah and you can paint it this It's done with finger joints. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, they finger jointed that. So, a lot of times this stuff falls apart. This particular side has been protected and they put a lot of nails on it. So I've been uh, not intending to use this again because we have new trim on the new door. I'm not worried about trying to keep it. Most of the time this stuff falls apart. Doesn't look like the door is fastened. See how it's moving? Guess how it was being held was uh, the trim. by the trim. Is that the correct way? Huh? Is that the correct way? No. <laughs> All right. Now to make my job a little easier, I'm just going to take the door off. My engine. by a longer screw. screws are holding right there.
pretty messy. Ladybug type things. They're called aphids, I believe. They uh, they get in tight places. And by the way, these things will bite, but they're not going to fare well in this. Most of them are dead. They don't bite terrible, but like a cave did or something. But they do bite. I'm like dwarf sweeping. There's a wasp. He find a place to get one too. <laughs> Not anymore. It's like they put the tile right over top of the carpet. Stick on tile right on top of the carpet. Where'd you do that? It's terrible. I don't know who did that. I guess it worked for a little while. Um, these people bought it and they're trying to make things better. at least 37 and a half inches and boy that's close okay. might need to take that out hopefully not maybe just hammer it over I'm check the middle 37 and three and eight. tight there we got lots of room 38, 5 eighths of an inch more. Just hammer it over. <laughs> this is not level. So that is over. And that is, needs to come this way on the top. make <coughs> that work and then eighty two and a quarter eighty two and a quarter so we can cut that out where I marked it <coughs> and then this is not level, it's going downhill. So let's see how much. Right there. Five eighths. Five eighths of an inch. About 37 and three eighths. All right, we'll come back when you get the door here. All right. It's Phil Bridges. If you like what you saw, you think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans, we're Americans. See you next time.